What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create power loads. So in this exercise, you're going to learn methods for creating power circuits or circuit uh, groups. So circuits are used for power, lighting, and data systems. So the concept of grouping similar functions into systems is used to show logical connections between different components in the system. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a circuit. So we're going to do that here on instruction 221. So if you want to use the exact exercise file that I'm using right now, so you can go check out the link on the video description. Okay, you can avail the exercise file from there or you can apply this learning to your actual project. Okay, so let's create uh, circuit so on my level to power plan instruction space so i'm going to select all the duplex receptacles in this space so i have six here so it's either i use a window selection like this and then filter it and check the spaces we only need the electrical fixtures and then select ok right so another way i'm going to press escape is by selecting one of the receptacles and then just hold control and then you can click the other duplex receptacles in that space all right so after you select the elements the duplex receptacles so there is a create systems panel here so this is how you create your power circuit so you click this power and then after that, so we want to include this panel to the circuit. So that's why I'm going to select here, edit panel, and then up, or select panel, and then we're going to select this panel here. So let's click this. At the moment, it says here none. So once we select this, now it says the panel there, PP-2B. Okay, and then after that, let me just select here, uh, modify. Oh, before I select modify, so I want to convert these uh, lines here into an actual wire. So that's why I have here convert to wire. If ever you already escape or you already select modify, so what you do is just hover your pointer to one of the duplex receptacle that is already part of your power circuit. Just hover your pointer, do not select, just move your pointer over the element and then press tab one time and then it will highlight the connection. So once it highlights the connection, so just click that. So you are now selecting the system and then you can convert that to wire. So I'm going to select your arc wire. Let me click that one and there you go. And then I'll select here modify. Okay, so you can modify this uh, home run here. So you can click that home run and then you can, maybe you can point it directly to that panel. And then you can also click that circle there just to create an arc, something like that. And then just point it. Okay, something like that. Okay, just tidy up your uh, home run. So you call this home run, the one that has the, arrow on it okay and then as you can see you can uh, there's a three lines here so this is what you call an electrical uh, tick marks okay so we use this uh, electrical tick marks on electrical wires to represent the number of conductors such as the pace neutral and ground wires in a particular circuit Okay, you can click that actually, the home run, and then you can go to the properties. And then you can change or you can add additional tick marks. So let's say for the hot conductors, so I want that to make two. Okay, so now the total is two, three, four. So the total should be four uh, tick marks. So once I select your apply, so you see it becomes now four. Okay. So I can still click that home run and then you see there's a plus and minus here to add tick marks. So I can click, let's say minus. 
See? So it becomes three and then my hot conductor becomes one here. So that's your um, uh, tick mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a new type of uh, tick mark. So currently, if I go to the electrical settings by going to systems and then clicking this icon here, electrical settings, you can actually type ES. So that's the shortcut of electrical settings. Just type ES. And then you go to wiring. So as you can see for the hot, ground, and neutral wire tick mark, I only have short wire tick mark. So if I click that drop down arrow, you can see here that I have uh, two types of tick marks. So I have short and long wire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load a new uh, tick mark. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the insert tab, load Autodesk family. It load an Autodesk family from the cloud. So just click that. And then after that, you can search from here. Okay, so let's say I want to search for hook wire tick mark. So I'll just type hook wire. Okay, and then enter. So there's now my hook wire tick mark. So you can find that on the annotations, uh, category, electrical, and tick marks. Okay, so I just select that one and then just load it. Okay, and then you can apply that uh, tick mark. So let's go to the electrical settings again. I'll type ES. Okay, and then after that, I will go to the uh, wiring. So let's say I change my ground wire tick mark. So let me change that instead of short. So let me change that to hook wire tick mark. So let's select that one. And then for the neutral, so I want to change this to long wire tick mark. Okay, and then I'll select here. Okay, and then let's see what will happen. And there you go. See? Okay. Right, so that's how you play your uh, tick mark. So the tick mark for all uh, ground conductors are changed to hook tick marks and neutral conductors. Uh, display as a long tick mark. Okay, so now what we're going to do next, we're going to combine multiple home runs into a uh, multi-circuit uh, home run. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's go to the computer lab here. Okay, so this is the space. So I'm going to highlight one of the receptacle here and then I'm going to press tab to display a preview of circuit wiring. And then after that, we're going to click that to select the circuit. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the receptacle and then don't click, just hover and then press tab. And then as you can see, it shows the preview of the circuit wiring. Okay, so I'm going to click that to select the circuit. Okay. All right. And then after that, what I'm going to do here is from the uh, systems tool, as you can see, there is no panel assigned to that uh, circuit that we have here. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here. And then I want that to be assigned also to uh, PP to B. Okay. So same uh, panel as this circuit that we have here on 221 space. So I'm going to select PP dash to B. You can also select select panel and then you can click the panel here or just select it directly from the list here. So I'm going to select this. There you go. And then the home run just appears there. So there's the home run. And then after that, I want that to convert to an arc wire. Okay, so let's select here arc wire. Click. There you go. And then just select here uh, modify. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, delete. Okay, so I don't need this actually. So I'm going to delete the home run on my computer lab too. So I'm going to select this one. 
Okay, and then what else? So I also want to delete this wire here. So let's click that. So you can hold control. So you click this home run and then hold control, then select this. Okay, and then I'm going to delete that. So let's delete that. Or you can press delete on the keyboard or type DE. That's the shortcut of the keyboard. Ah, that's the shortcut of the delete on your keyboard or just select this icon. Click that. Okay, so it's now deleted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually create the wire. Okay, so let's go to the systems and then there's the wire here. So I'm going to select arc. So let's click this one. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to connect that uh, manually. I'm going to create a wire manually. Okay, so where am I going to select? So I'm going to click maybe this one here. So I'm going to click one point here. And then I'm going to click somewhere here to create the arc. And then after that, I want that to be connected to this one here. Make sure you are selecting the point here. Okay, if you're having a difficulty selecting the point, the connector, okay, so you can press tab. And then once you see that symbol, you can click now. So you can be sure of that that wire will connect to the connector of that duplex receptacle, okay? So just hover your pointer and then press tab. Okay, so once you see that, you click. There you go. And then I'll select here, uh, modify. Okay. And maybe what I'm going to do here is, okay, so this one looks weird. So I'm just going to, let me just edit this one. So let me delete that. So let me create another wire again. So arc wire. So maybe I'll just start here. So I click here. One, two, three. Okay. And then from here, one, two, three. There you go. Okay. So there's a home run again there. So I want to connect. What else? So this one, so I want this to be connected to this one here. So let's click that one, two. So we are manually connecting our wire. There you go. And then I also want to connect this point here. One, two, two here, three. All right. Okay, so what else? So we don't have a connection here. So let's go again to the wire, arc wire. So I want that to be connected here. One, two, and then here. There you go. So now the arrow is pointing to that side. So I don't want that. So let's select this one, then delete. Let's select again the arc wire. So I'll start here. One, two, click. Still like that. Anyway. Let me just move it there and then point it here. Pick this one and then connect there. Make sure you connect that to the connector. Okay. And then I want this arc wire to be connected or that wire to be connected here. There you go. Let's adjust just to tidy up. Okay, so basically that's how you automate your wiring and also that's how you uh, create your wiring manually. Okay, and also how to create your power circuit. 
All right, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from uh, this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.